Good to everyone. Uh, and uh, happy uh, Palm Sunday. Amen. Praise God. And uh, we want to welcome all of you that are joining us to uh, Faith Life Cowboy Church. No. <laughs> New Year's Church of the Big Band. Amen. So praise God. Here in Marfa, Texas. And we want to welcome you. Pastores Jose and Patricia. We welcome you. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And so happy Palm Sunday and feliz Domingo del Ram Ramos. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has great things for you. Amen. Now he's using me as a messenger. So I want you to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. And he always has something for you. Yes, so you prepare to receive what God has for yeah. us. Amen. Amen. Today we're going to be talking about Jesus' triumphal entry yeah. into Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. He was triumphant as he, as he, as he rode in. Praise God, and we're going we're gonna to have fun with this. So yeah. praise God. So prepare yourselves to receive. Welcome all those of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. Do you prepare yeah. yourselves to receive. Bienvenidos a los que nos escuchan por audio o video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. Amen. And he always has something for us. Yeah. It's up to us to receive. He, yeah. his, <laughs> there's never any problem with him. It's us that we need to receive. Yeah. Amen. And uh, sometimes he wants to bless us. Sometimes he wants to encourage us. Sometimes he wants to correct us. Amen. Amen. So when we as children and father wants to correct us, don't say, well, you know, I was offended. I don't want to go back. I was embarrassed. I don't want to go back. Well, you know, sometimes he, he takes correction to, to straighten up what, what we get ourselves into. Amen. Amen. But you know what? Never leave as you came. Right. Always leave. Hallelujah. Hey, if Jesus came as triumphant, every day we go out have a triumphant day in him amen? Yeah, amen and that's what we need to see it this way well you know oh you know bad monday bad tuesday uh uh, uh wednesday <laughs> a bad thursday but you know what everybody comes alive on friday because they say thank god it's friday you know hey weekend is coming we're gonna party <laughs> eagle flies <laughs> no you know every day he says this is the day the lord has gave us Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yes, amen. And we receive as Jesus triumphantly comes into Jerusalem. Well, what city are you traveling into? You're going out into the world on a daily basis. Go into the world in a triumphant manner. Yes, amen. amen. As a child of God, you know, don't go in there defeated. If you're already defeated, might as well stay home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but as a child of God, you go into the world triumphant as a king, you know, knowing I'm a child of God, amen, amen. and we're going to change the world. He's, we're his body, we're his church. This is not the church. <laughs> we are the church, and we leave these four places yeah, here, these yeah. four walls here, as a church, as a body of Christ, going out there to happen for somebody. Good news. You know what the gospel is? The gospel is good news. <laughs> You're the good news. You're the best news they can hear. Amen. Yeah. So, Praise God, you're, you're, you're not there by accident. You're there by assignment. Yeah. Amen. You're there by assignment. God has sent you. God has placed you. And uh, we've talked about this. And uh, oh, one of my favorite messages is bloom, 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 where God plants you. Oh, you know, and don't complain about where you are. Just bloom and be triumphant in him yeah. on a daily basis. Wherever you happen to be, amen, you're there for a reason. Hallelujah. So grab your swords, grab your Bibles, church. Amen. And let's say it like you mean it. Amen. Right. This is my Bible. Uh -huh. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind's alert, my spirit's receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I am excited, church. I don't know about you. <laughs> I am excited. So, Jesus' triumphal entry. Happy Sunday morning. Feliz Domingo de Ramos. And I think we have, there we go. Go to the next one. They all kind of say the same thing here. Let me read this to you. Some of you can't read this, so I'll read it to you. But it says this. May the spirit of the holy occasion and the oneness of the season and may the beauty of the springtime bring your hearts bloom. Make your hearts bloom with joy and happiness. Have a blessed and joyful Palm Sunday. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Go to the next one. Here we go. Happy Palm Sunday. Oh, yes. S, spell Sunday, says 
as this was sweet fellowship with Christ, uh -huh. you understand this under the shadow of the Almighty end is where no evil shall come near you. These mm -hmm. is the day after day you shall be success. You be you, you'll be a success. A is for all your blessings shall come to stay. And why is you are favored mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> this is good. I said, well, I gotta use this. I gotta show. I gotta Amen. share this. Amen. Amen. Have a happy, a happy, happy Palm Sunday. Amen. All right. Praise God. So anyway, happy Palm Sunday to you. So this is the beginning of a holy week, church. Yes. <laughs> Today happens to be Palm Sunday. Friday, right. Good Friday is coming up, and the resurrection or Easter Sunday is coming up as well. Amen. And uh, yeah. anyway, Palm Sunday is a day of celebration. Commemorates yes. Jesus' is triumphant entry into Jerusalem. It is observed on Sundays before Resurrection Sunday. Amen. So I want to, I think I told you this, <coughs> but that's okay. I, will, I enjoy saying it again. <laughs> a faithful little boy <laughs> never missed church. And so he was sick this time, and he missed Palm Sunday. Oh, okay. He had to stay home with mom. So when dad comes in, he walks in waving his little palm on Palm Sunday. He walks in. So the little boy says, as the dad says, Dad, <laughs> you have a branch with you. What, what is the meaning of it? And he, the dad, quoting what the pastor says, he says, Jesus came into town. Everyone waved palm branches to honor him. So we got palm branches today. And the little boy says, oh, man, the Sunday I missed, and Jesus shows up. Oh. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Jesus shows up every day. Yeah. Amen. He shows up every Sunday. He shows up every day. You don't want to miss. Right. Amen. That's the thing is, you don't want to miss. Okay, because he shows up on a daily basis. And we're talking about this is the place we assemble ourselves and meet one another, encourage one another to, to carry on. Church, you meet him on a daily basis where you happen to be. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. So where you happen to be, you may, wherever you work at, wherever assignment you're at, mm -hmm. that is where you meet him on a daily basis. Yeah. But you know what? He shows up every time. Yes. Don't you miss him because he's knocking and you're not answering. Mm -hmm. Or he's knocking and we're ignoring him. Yes. Amen? Oh. But on a daily basis, he shows up. Mm -hmm. We just yeah. got to know to open up and say, Lord, yeah. spend time with him. Right. Yeah. Amen? That's the best time you could have, yeah. spending time with him. Yeah. Little boy says, oh, man, the Sunday I miss that Jesus shows up. So, church, don't miss your day <laughs> with him. Amen? Amen. We get them all the time. Four Gospels including, include this event. This week, preceding the Jewish Passover, was a time when the Jewish, all from all over the world, came together in a journey to visit Jerusalem. Josephus, a Jewish uh, historian, estimated that there was over 20, uh, 2 million people gathered for the Passover. And Jesus spent over three and a half years teaching through words and actions. And church, this is what we're supposed to do. Sick was healed. Sick healed, bones mended, demons cast out, Amen. driven out. Amen? Hungry fed, forgiveness, forgiving the unforgivable, mm. and loving the unlovable. Oh, boy. Jesus did. He showed us how, so we know how. Amen. Amen? And to rise the dead. You know, there's a lot of people out there dead. You know, they're dead spiritually because they don't know Christ. Yes. Amen. And here you come into their lives. And we ain't said nothing. Oh, it's time we open up. Because yeah. those words, that word of God is in you. That live words of God is in you. And you got to let it out. Yeah. Amen. So that you can bring life to them. Because they don't know any better. Yeah. Until they hear those lively words come out of you. Right. Amen. Yeah. It's going to give them life. Yeah. Say, wow. Shake them up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Shake them up. <laughs> This is a day of celebration. Jesus is the worship, the praised one. Jesus began his final week of ministry by entering Jerusalem among a triumphant, victorious celebration parade. Multitudes greeted him, shouting, Hosanna. Yeah. Let me see. There we go. Paul Sunday says, 
Today's Bible study, which makes Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, it also begins the Holy Week. Go to the next one. There we are. There he comes. <laughs> Waving palm branches in their hands. <laughs> As he answers the city of Jerusalem, King Jesus, listen, wow. King Jesus rides into Jerusalem on a donkey colt. A sign of humility, listen. Jesus comes riding into uh, Jerusalem in humility on a donkey colt while people are praising him. Yeah. Amen. A sign of peace. Mm. Knowing that he is riding into his death, knowing what awaits him. Mm -hmm. Ever since he left heaven, he knew what awaited him. But this time he won't go and he's riding this uh, colt. Uh, donkey into Jerusalem as king and people are praising him but he knows what awaits him already he knows the week ahead what's coming oh, yeah. which is his death amen his crucifixion he knows all these things but they are changing church you know what awaits us on a daily basis we need to prepare ourselves so that we can have victorious yeah. entry in wherever you happen to go. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know what is waiting for you Amen. and instead of oh. complaining the problem, oh. instead of repeating the problem oh. and saying the problem, why not be victorious and know, yeah. hey, greater is he that sent me yeah. than he that is in the world. Amen. 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 I am, you're not just an accident going, so going somewhere to happen. You are victorious. You are a child of God going somewhere to set somebody free. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. This is good news. Going somewhere to explode on somebody. Yeah. Jesus rides into Jerusalem. You know, he could have changed his mind all this time. But he was the man. Well, you know, he was King Jesus. Uh, he was a son of God, so he knew all these things. So, yeah, he, if he knew all these things, he could have changed his mind and said, hey, I don't want to go through this. Because we think about these things. What did the enemy attacks the most? The mind. The battlefield is the mind. You think these things. You know what? Hey, I can't make it. I can't go. <laughs> excuse, excuse, excuse. Jesus made no excuses. He knew ahead what was coming, but still, he rode in. Right. In humility, he rode a donkey. He got on the donkey and rode in. He knew his death was coming, and he knew what awaited him. So Jesus triumphantly entered into Jerusalem as king. If you want to follow along, I'm going to read it to you. But um, our text is going to be Matthew 21, 1 through 11. <clears throat> I'm reading from uh, the New King James, and you can follow along. Matthew 21, 1 through 11. Go to the next uh, slide. Here you go. Rejoice in the Lord this Palm Sunday. Psalms 118, 24 tells us, This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Church, as a child of God, this should be our song on a daily basis. Amen. This is a motto on a daily basis. I'm going to rejoice. God has given me another day. I'm going to rejoice and be yes. glad. And in this new day, Amen. God has given me. Amen. 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 His mercy is new every day. This day is a new day, and I'm going to step out in victory. I'm going to step Amen. out victoriously yes. as a child of God. Don't go out into this world defeated. Oh. That's what the world does on a daily basis. Mm. Amen. You step out as a winner, as a champion, yeah. as a child of God. Amen. Yeah. Are you there? Yes. Matthew 21, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. Now when the, they knew, drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethany at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village opposite to you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, he says, the Lord, you say, the Lord has need of them, and immediately he will send them. Isn't it amazing? Awesome. He already knew. Somebody says something. <laughs> You're going somewhere to happen. And something says something. God has already given you a message. Yeah. God has already given you his word. So you know what comes out of you should be the word of God. If you're not prepared to share the word, you don't want anything else coming out. Amen. We're going to talk about this because 
when they were accusing Jesus and found him guilty, Jesus was silent. Yeah. You're talking about a king of kings and lord of lords being yeah. silent, yeah. not saying a word. Sometimes we need to know when to do this. Amen? <laughs> Come on, amen now. <laughs> he says immediately he will send them. When God has sent you somewhere, <laughs> it's going to happen. Amen. Verse 4 says, all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was uh, spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and sitting on a donkey, a colt, a fo the foal of a donkey. And 6 says, so the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. 7, they brought the donkey and the colt, laid their clothes on, on them, and set him on them. And verse 8, and a very great multitude spread their clothes on the, on the road and cut uh, down branches or palm branches from the tree and spread them on the, on the road. Then the multitude who went before and those who followed cried out saying, Hosanna to the son of David, which is talking about the Messiah. In the Amplified talks about son of David being Messiah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And verse 10 says, And when he had come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And verse 11 says, So the multitude says, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. That is awesome. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So Holy Week, Jesus enters Jerusalem as an exalted king. Highly glorious, dignified. A week later, he is rejected and crucified by the same crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're trying to be a man pleaser, world pleaser, oh, people pleaser, you're never going to get it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I played too many sports. I've been in too many places. And you go, and that crowd is going to be sometimes for you, sometimes against you. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you do good, sometimes you do bad. Uh -huh. They're going to be mad at you anyway. Yeah. People are going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. The crowd has seen Jesus call Lazarus back to life. Many in the crowd have heard of his many mighty miracles. Mm -hmm. Amen. Many people have heard about you. And I don't want people to know me as uh, just the miracle worker or just the person, the pastor. I want them to know me as a child of God. And I am his servant. And know the King of Kings, yeah. and not just know come to worship me. Come worship the King of Kings, yeah. the one who is here, yeah, the one who came into Jerusalem as a triumphant yeah. King. Amen. Yeah. So it's not about me; it's about Him. During this week, many turned from Him, mocked Him, and ridiculed Him. Yeah. The same crowd. It's in the same crowd. The same people that you see on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Maybe they come up and tell you something about a friend of theirs. And sometimes when they're with their friends, maybe they tell their friends about you. <laughs> <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> Just know this. So what do I say? Watch your words and your actions. We're going to find out here in a few minutes. Watch your words, your actions. Use the closest thing to a Bible. Some people will ever see, hear. Amen. So be careful. Just be Christ-like. Imitate him. So beginning of Holy Week on Thursday, the Lamb of God has given us a new commandment. He says, love your God and love one another. Mm. At the Last Supper, he spends his last meal with his uh, disciples. Yeah. Jesus shares his uh, apostles in Jerusalem before his crucifixion. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. It was just before Passover a festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave. He is showing he is being a servant. He is, the Bible says that Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Yeah. And he knew the hour has come, the time has come. So he washes his disciples' feet. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to serve, not to serve, not to be served. And he's showing the example of how to serve. He predicts his betrayal. Jesus pre be, uh, predicts. His closest friend, Peter, denies him, will deny him three times. And John 14, 6, 
Jesus told them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yeah. We need to know this, church. Yeah. We need to get this. Yeah. Nothing, you can, nothing, nothing, nothing. We can't get ourselves there. Money can't get you there. Yeah. Nothing else can get you there. No one else can get you there. Yeah. But he says, I am yeah. the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Yeah. So if you're going to bring anything, bring Jesus. Uh -huh. That's yeah. what the world needs. Amen. We need Jesus. Yeah. Praise God. John 14, 26, Jesus promised the Holy Spirit. He says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, yeah. he will teach you all things and bring you to remembrance of all things that I said to you. You know, he'll bring you things and say things to you. And when we're talking and sharing with others, he says, you know, something told me. And we are afraid to say the Holy Spirit told me you're going to scare somebody. <laughs> the Holy Spirit told me to share something with you. Amen. Amen. The Holy Amen. Spirit is telling me to share something Amen. with you. And I'm going to share it with you. Yeah. And don't hold it in because something might happen and you never delivered the message. Right. Now you're going to feel bad about the situation. Right. You are the messenger going somewhere to give a message. Yes. Give it. And the Holy Spirit is there with you, and he's going to tell you what to say. Yes. John 15, 1 and 2 says that he is the true vine. Jesus is the true vine. I am the true vine, and my yeah. Father is the vine dresser. Yeah. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he will take away. Yes. And every branch that bears fruit, he'll prune yes. that it may bear more, more fruit. That's what he wants us to do. Amen. He cleanses, he corrects us, but we are attached to the vine. Amen. Stay attached to him. You don't want to go without him. Amen. We're nothing without him. We need him on a daily basis. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. John 15 and 18 says, <laughs> The world haters. If the world hates you, he wants you to know that it hated me first. Yeah. He says, <laughs> You know, it hated me before it hated you. Amen. So know this. You know, some of the things that he went through, mm -hmm. he never made excuses. That's some right. of the things we go through, we make too many excuses. Mm -hmm. So get rid of those. <laughs> and know, if you're going to please people, they probably won't get to hear Jesus come out of you. Mm -hmm. Don't try to be a people pleaser. Try to be a God pleaser. Amen. And he's going to put the right people in front of you. He's going to yeah. be put the right people in your life that you need to Amen. accomplish what he's called you to do. Yes. Amen. Lord. You trust him. You know, people say they're going to do something for you and you try to please them and they're going to fail you and they're not going to show up and, and things are going to go wrong. Mm -hmm. So don't try to be a people pleaser. Try to be a, try to be, be, Amen. don't try to be a God pleaser. Amen. Amen. So guess what? <laughs> We're to press on with yes. Jesus. <laughs> we must be willing and be able to continue to work unto Jesus. Amen. Work for him. Let me read it the way I got it here. Let me see. We must be willing and able to continue to work uh, the works of God in the world, sharing what the kingdom of God should be like through our words and our actions. And I wrote this. You're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people will never see, yeah. read, or hear. Yeah. Okay? They may not never open a Bible themselves, but they'll see you, a yeah. child of God. Yeah. And they'll, they'll see you, they'll read you, and they'll hear you. Yeah. And during this time, the seed, the seed, the gospel seed is planted, the salvation seed is planted in them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And it's going to be watered. God's going to see to it that seed is watered. Yes. And that seed is going to come. Yes. Amen. He's going to pull it. When it's right time is, yes. that seed is going to grow. Every yes. seed that you plant, every seed that you water, it's going to grow. It's going to break through. It's going to have a time to break through the dark. Sometimes of yes. hardness, yes. <laughs> darkness. Yes. But it's going to break through. Amen. And you yes. know what? You may never see it in your lifetime. But you'll get to see them. Amen. We'll be in heaven. Yes, Spend time in heaven yes. together. Yes. Say, praise God. Amen. Amen. Somebody sow the seed in you. And here you are. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You may be, you, you know who. Mm. And you may not. Some grandma, some friend was praying for you the whole time. Mm -hmm. And you got saved. And one day you're going to meet him. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, praise Lord. God. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, amen. Jesus is betrayed by Judas, his disciple, <laughs> for 30 pieces of silver. Yep. Denied by his closest friend, Peter, three times. Abandoned by everyone in his follower. You know? <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> but they left him. And then they all just left. He is dragged away as a criminal for committing no crime. <laughs> this silent, innocent king stands in front of earthly powers where he is beaten, spat on, and found guilty. And you know, just they release a murderous criminal in exchange for Jesus. They ask the crowd, who would you rather have? You know, the same crowd was shouting Hosanna, now is shouting crucify him, and now are saying, we want Barabbas. <laughs> Give us Barabbas. And they, they're saying, you go ahead and crucify this uh, uh King, Jesus, <laughs> you know, this criminal has committed no crime. Barabbas is known for being a criminal and for committing murders. Yes. And they say, release Barabbas, mm. crucify Jesus. Oh my, yeah. Amen. Mm. So Good Friday's coming. King Jesus will have a crown of thorns placed on his head. He's crowned king. So you want to call, you call yourself the king, we're going to crown you. Mm. And you know, you think, uh, I don't know. This crown of thorns is just a little thing that just kind of placed on his head. This crown of thorns has got some big thorns on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when they put it on his head, they jammed it on his head. Yeah. They just forced it on him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He bled. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so you want to be king, we're going to crown you king. Mm -hmm. Nails are driven in his hands and feet. Jesus is crucified. Mm -hmm. Executed. For you and me. Amen. Praise God. Wow. So do we want to betray Jesus like your disciples? Yeah. Seeking things instead of him. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added on yeah. you. On a daily basis, set your priorities daily yeah. to serving him and seeking him first. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> seeking blessings instead of blessings. You know, sometimes we get oh, yes. all these blessings Oh, it was so nice. And we start to loving our blessings more than loving our God. <laughs> Seek the bless on. Amen. Yes, amen. Yes. Seeking things of peace and understanding. See, and making excuses mm. for every assembling of ourselves together. Mm. We're not to make excuses for assembling ourselves together. Coming together to encourage one another. Mm. Hey, you know what? I'm glad I saw you because I've been praying for you. You know, I'm glad I saw you because whatever good report you have. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. We come together. We're going to shout together, praise together. Thank you, praise team. We're going to praise together. We're just going to cry together and just exalt each other together. And, you know, just hug each other and say, praise God. And just encourage one another. So you can, the world awaits. Mm -hmm. But we're going to build ourselves up before we go out. And we're going to go out as triumphant. As yes. Jesus came into Jerusalem. Amen. Yes. Praise God. No longer defeated. No Amen. longer defeated. Amen. Amen. Renewing our, um, feeding our, 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 our spirits, the word of God. Renewing our minds yes. to the word of God and crucifying the flesh. Yes. Amen. Amen. Woo. Praise serving God. him and his people. Making no excuses of serving him and his or his people. You know, there's no one else to serve but his people. Amen. And there's no one. <laughs> Praise God. Or are we going to abandon him like his disciples? Going about our daily lives as if Jesus never existed. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, hey, I, I just ring him up when I need him, you know. <laughs> That's not a relationship. <laughs> That's just being used. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Having a relationship is being there all the time, you know. And he, he, he knows he knows all about you. We need to know about him. <laughs> we need to know him because he never goes anywhere. He's always there for us. Yeah. And look what he did for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> now we treat him as he don't exist. 
denying him like Peter. You know, you get around your little crowd, your little friends. Come on now, I'm talking to somebody. Right. <laughs> and they're talking about your God and saying not too nice things about him. And you're not saying anything. I'm going to say something. Yes. And I'm going to say, you talking about my God. You don't talk that way about my God. And maybe change my company. Yeah. You know, yeah, man. change my company and go somewhere else, you know. Yeah. But they're going to know. Amen. And I'm going to sell some seed there and says, you know what? I'm a child of God. Uh -huh. And I don't appreciate you talking that way. That's right. And if you're going to talk that way, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not going to be here anymore. Mm -hmm. And the seed was sown. Because now they know that you are, yeah, I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Denying him like Peter. Are you one of them? No. Uh -uh, no, no, no. You keep talking the way you're talking. And, you know, hey, I'm cool. I'm okay. You want to please the crowd, please people. Jesus paid the price for our salvation. Still, we reject him, disobey him, and abandon him. But we should stand up. Yes. And the Holy Spirit is telling you, say something. Stand up for him. Speak up for him. And we're silent. When well, we should have said something. Mm -hmm. Amen. We've all been there. I've been there. So, you know, hey, Pastor's been there. This conquering king, Jesus, rode on the donkey. Mm -hmm. Humility. And climbed up a tree and died for you so that you may experience abundant life mm -hmm. on earth and eternal life in heaven. Amen. This Jesus. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, you know. You come together, we come together, assemble ourselves together, as I said, you know, to praise them, to worship them, to cry, get on my knees, whichever way you want to show your humility and show your honor and pride to them, you know. It's okay. Amen. We go out to a worldly counselor and uh, we go crazy. Showing ourselves cutting ourselves, beating ourselves, mm. stripping ourselves, doing all these things for the world. And we can't even raise our hands or sing for Jesus, mm. you know? So this is what he did for us. He climbed on a donkey, mm. he climbed up the tree yeah. and died for us so that we may experience this abundant life. Yeah. The Bible says the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. Yeah. But it says, Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. When you know him, you're going to live in the abundance. Amen. Yeah. Praise God, John 10, 10. Praise God. <laughs> God. Thank you, Lord. Give me another one. Oh, this one. Paul Sunday says, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Yes. Matthew 21 and 9. Hallelujah. Keep going. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Palm Sunday. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna. Yeah. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. John 12, 13. Amen. Only the Gospels share the good news. If you don't know, Gospels is good news. Yes, it is. The lost and the blind cannot offer it. <laughs> Fortunes, friends, family, and friends cannot buy it. You can only get it through the passion of the Christ. The passion of Jesus Christ. You know, every time I see that movie, <laughs> makes me cry. <laughs> Sometimes I can't watch the whole thing, especially when it's being beaten. And that's nothing compared to what actually happened. Right. That's nice compared to what the Bible yeah. says. He says he was unrecognizable. Yep. And yet didn't kill him. He didn't die until he surrendered himself to the Father. But if, before he surrendered himself to the Father, he says, forgive them. Mm. Amen. They deserve all this, mm. but Father says, forgive them. Amen. <laughs> so if we put up with a little bit, or can put up with a little bit, and already we're going to say, Lord, send fire on them. <laughs> 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 we can get it through the passion of Jesus Christ the shed blood of Jesus Christ, knowing that he called, equipped, and gifted to you. Regardless of all this, he paid all this so he could use you 
and be his body, be his church here on earth, and say to you, you know what? He says, I have called you. I've chosen you. Yeah. I've called you. I've equipped you. Because I have qualified you. Don't worry about the world trying to qualify you because you're already qualified. <laughs> you're already qualified. Okay? I'm not here to qualify to please him. I'm qualified to please him. And whatever yeah, he tells yeah. me to do. And I'm, all, I'm already on a triumphant road of success, you know, to please him. Because the Bible says you can do all things through Christ yeah. who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited, church. I don't know about you. Yeah. But it gives me another day to be glad and rejoice. I'm going to be yeah. glad and rejoice because, yeah. Lord, I'm here to do whatever you call me to do. And I'm going to do it to my success, to your yeah. success. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. I can do all things through him. Yeah. Knowing that you can do, excuse me. You can get it through the passion of Christ, the shed blood of Jesus, knowing that he has called you, equipped you, and gifted you, and knowing that you can do all things through him who strengthens you. Yeah. Sharing Jesus and inviting people to come to him. Yeah. Inviting people to church. Amen. You know, when you're there, you are the church. Yeah. Amen. But inviting them to come and assemble, join us as we assemble ourselves together. Amen. Scott used to go to a church under the bridge. Not too many people go there. And you got to know that God sent you there. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Wherever God sent you, be his winner. Be his champion. Amen. Yeah. Be a champion for him wherever he yeah. sends you. Because yeah. you know, there's hurt people, there's lost people everywhere you go. Yeah. And you know, and you might not be in the most beautiful palace or the most beautiful uh church there is. Churches out there when you meet the people. Amen. Wherever you happen to be, right. leading people to Christ, yes. that's your church. Mm -hmm. Amen? So know this, that you just don't have to belong to a, a, a church body. Yes. Amen? Or a beautiful place. Your place is out there. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Amen. The passion of Jesus should have changed the way we think, live, and serve him. If the cross, the life, and the death and the resurrection of Jesus does not make you realize the love of God, <laughs> we need to have our heads, our heads or our hearts examined and get saved. Amen. <laughs> you need to get saved if you don't have a love for him after all he's done for you. We need to have our heads or our hearts examined and get saved. Yeah. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. For God so loved us, He sacrificed His Son for us. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's how much He loved us. He says, I want my people back. Yeah. I don't care what they've done. I'm going to sacrifice my son. I'm yeah. going to send my son and be sacrificed to take away the sins of the world. Amen. 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 And, John, and 1 John 4 and 8 says that God is love. Yeah. If you don't have a relationship, you're not going to know these things. Right. But you have to have relationships so that you can know him. When you know God, you know God is love. Yes. Amen. Praise God what he's done for you. Yes. So that you can fall in love with him. Amen. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. There he is. <laughs> Men turn away and no longer seek him as their king. We must be. We must be sold out to we must be sold out and we must change to be God pleasers and not people pleasers. Amen. Amen. You're not going to win anything. Well, hey, if you don't please me, if you don't worship me, you're not going to get your promotion. I already know through relationship through him, promotion comes from God. Amen. So praise God. Be sold out. Be a sold out soldier for God. Amen. <laughs> the same elements, listen, what he faced the same elements are in the world today. Mm -hmm. People turn their backs on the king. Yes. People turn their backs on him. People turn their backs on each other. Oh, boy. Just know. You need to prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Know the word so that you can follow and fulfill what God called you to do. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you're going to survive. Stay hooked to the source. Yes. Stay connected to the vine. Amen. See? You need that life. Any other way, you're not going to survive. Amen. Amen. 
So praise God. He tells us how to do it. The only way you're going to do it is by having relationship with him. In closing. <laughs> so what does Jesus' triumphal entry mean to us today? Number one, believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Amen. He is the Christ, the Savior. He came to fulfill all these Old Testament prophecies. And yeah. He came to deliver all people wherever the, from the power of sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Amen. Yeah. Praise right. God. Serve Him as King. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Listen, let me read this to you real quick. As Messiah, Jesus is the only Savior, not only Savior, but Lord. Mm -hmm. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Oh, As he entered Jerusalem on the first palm Sunday, righteousness and salvation gently and riding on a, whole, on a donkey, mm -hmm. a colt, a foal of a donkey. Yes. People spread their clothes beneath Jesus' feet and signed in sign of their submission. Uh -huh. Will you bow your knee to Christ? Will you submit to him? Mm -hmm as Lord and serve him as a king. Yeah. When Jesus came back, when Jesus come back from heaven, he will no longer be riding a donkey in peace. Right. He will be Whoa. riding a white horse yes. of victory yes. as he yes. comes into battle yes. to defeat the enemies. He will strike down nations with a sharp sword yes. that will come out of his mouth. Yes. The word of God. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So he's going to be victorious. He's coming back as a victorious yes. king. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And proclaim his praises. He says, if you don't praise him, he says that rocks will cry out. Mm. <laughs> don't let the rocks do your praising for right. you. No <laughs> let no rock take your place. Amen. Believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Serve him as king and proclaim his praises. Amen. Yeah. So choose daily to honor him. Give him your best. He gave your best. Give him your best. Withhold nothing. Surrender. I think we sang that. Totally surrender. And commit yourself to him on a daily yes. basis. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. Is that the last one? Okay. It says, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Mark 11, 9. Amen. So praise God. Yes. So choose daily to honor him and to serve him. Give him your all. Surrender all to him. Amen. Amen. Surrender to yourself totally, totally to him. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Jesus. Happy Palm Sunday to you. <laughs> I hope you got something from this. Amen. And we're to be sold out for him on a daily basis, not just once in a while. You know, when it's, well, you know, it's this time. It's Easter time again, so it's time to go to church. Well, it's Christmas time, it's time to go to church. No, we need to have this on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. We need him daily. If you don't have him daily, you're already defeated. Because you don't match to a full time devil. That's right. Amen. You can't just be part time and expect and demand from a full time God. That's right. Amen. You've got yes. to be full time yourself. This yes. is relationship. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Thank you, Lord.